Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and today we're going to paint an ice skate. I am also going to give this ice skate away to one of my followers who sprinkles this video. So you'll need an ice skate, some thin ribbon in any color of your choice, acrylic paint in pink, navy blue, orange, black, and white. You will also need a couple of Q-tips. You can get ice skates at Goodwill, thrift stores, or you can see if maybe some of your friends has some extra pairs from their kids lying around. This is a smaller skate, not one of the adult sizes. This is actually a child size skate. First thing you're gonna do is fill your skate with some plastic bags or you can use newspaper so that it will keep its form. I use plastic bags because mine hangs outside for the winter on a sleigh and I didn't want the paper to get wet and disintegrate. This is also a great way to recycle the plastic bags. After you get it all filled, you're going to start painting it with your white acrylic paint. You're going to need several coats of this, two to three, and you're gonna to wanna to let it dry in between coats. And it's okay if you get it on the sole, you can wipe it right off, or you can paint the entire sole if you'd like to. Some people use some of the fake snow and they paint the sole on that. I've done that before and it looks super cute. This time I wanted to just keep it black. You're going to want to paint all sides of the skate, all of the lace holes, front, back, and the tongue. And when you're completely finished painting your entire skate, you're going to want to put a clear coat sealer on it. And you can get some spray sealer at Home Depot, Walmart, Lowe's, and make sure that you choose one that's good for outdoors if that's where you plan on keeping it. If you're planning on keeping it inside, you don't need to seal it at all if you don't want to. You can choose a matte sealer, a gloss sealer, whichever you choose. And you can see the difference in the color already with the skate. It was kind of dingy. It's definitely been used very, very well. It was well loved. And once you have it all painted white, we can start drawing on our snowman face. So the first thing I did was take my pencil and I drew two teardrops for the eyes and then two lines above them for his eyebrows. I drew a bigger, longer teardrop for his nose and then I did X's for his mouth. You can do as many of these as you want. You could do just dots, that's totally up to you. And then at the bottom of the skate, along the sole, I wrote, let it snow. You can write whatever you want. I just like the let it snow. I thought it was cute. Added a few lines to some of the letters just to give them a little more definition and make them kind of cutesy looking. And once you have your design all drawn out, you're going to take your black acrylic paint and a thin paintbrush and you're going to paint both the eyes, his eyebrows, his nose, and the let it snow all in the black paint. You can use a black paint pen if you think that you could paint better with that. That would be just fine also.
And once you have your Let It Snow all drawn out with the black, I'm going to take the orange acrylic paint and paint his nose with the orange. You may need a couple of coats of the orange paint to cover completely because you're painting over white. So I let this one dry and then I added another coat of the orange. And he is already looking super cute. I love painting ice skates. They're so much fun. So now that the nose is all set and the rest of the black is done, I took my pencil and I dipped it in white paint and did two dots for his eyes. Then I took my Q-tip and I damped it in some pink paint and then I did sort of damped it off and dry brushed it basically onto either side of his mouth. Now you're gonna take your navy blue paint and draw snowflakes all over the entire skate. You can just do these randomly wherever you choose. You don't wanna to do too many that it's overwhelming. You wanna do just enough to give the idea that it's quote unquote snowing. I didn't paint anything on the back side of the skate. You can, if you want to, you can take this design and paint it on the back, or you can do all of these little snowflakes on the back side. That's totally up to you. I even painted some snowflakes on the tongue. I did not paint anything on the back, not even the snowflakes. Mine, like I said, hangs on a sleigh, so you don't see the back. And I did a few snowflakes up the spine of the skate. I didn't go all the way to the top because we're going to add a hanger. As you can see, I left a spot at the top for the hanger. Next, I took the ribbon and I laced up the skate using the ribbon. I just cut a very large piece of ribbon and then just started lacing it through the holes. Now, you can lace this however you want. I know some people have some really cool lacing techniques and that would be awesome. You don't have to use ribbon. You could use twine if you wanted to. You could even use the original laces that came on the skate if they weren't in too bad of shape. Mine on this were horrible, so I cut them off with my scissors and I decided to lace them with the ribbon. I also have used two different color ribbons and that looks really cute also. I tried to stay with a thinner ribbon because it's easier to lace. The holes aren't very big. So now that I have it all laced up, I'm gonna take a razor blade and put a little slit in the top of the spine. And then I took a sharp little screwdriver and shoved it through to make a hole. Then I took a piece of my leftover lace ribbon and push that through with the screwdriver and then just tied a knot in the top. And that is what I used as my hanger. I just spun the ribbon around and put the knot on the inside of the skate. And once you get that all done, you can fill the skate with whatever you want. I chose some Spanish moss and a little tea light, but you can add flowers. Some people add Christmas trees. Some people leave it plain and don't put anything in it at all. I think it looks cute with the candle. I super enjoyed this project. I love painting skates and I hope I inspired you to paint your own. Please don't forget to sprinkle for your chance to win. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.